Bitwarden is a really popular password manager with a free version. For that reason, I'm here with the Bitwarden Tutorial 2024 edition. I'll show you everything from how to set up Bitwarden to demonstrating how to use all of the most important features. Now, if you still don't use a password manager, this video will also be useful for helping figure out if you need one and if Bitwarden is the right choice. There are four main sections that I'll cover. Bitwarden security, how to set it up, features in action, and the downsides of Bitwarden. All right, let's start with security. One of the main reasons for Bitwarden's widespread popularity is that it's open source. Anyone with basic coding skills can review Bitwarden's code. This way, there's a greater chance that vulnerabilities will be spotted and corrected before serious harm can be done. But just because it's public doesn't necessarily mean it's superior. It simply means its security is different. Besides, open source tools typically lack customer support provided by other password manager tools. Another aspect is encryption. Bitwarden uses industry standard encryption. While it may not be the newest technology available, it effectively secures your data, making it virtually uncrackable. When choosing your password manager, I also recommend looking up whether it uses a zero-knowledge architecture. Bitwarden does, meaning that neither Bitwarden employees nor anyone else can access your data. Now, there's something you can do yourself to make your account even more secure, two-factor authentication. There will be an option to choose 2FA after you install Bitwarden. It adds an extra layer of security to your online accounts beyond just a password. So, all fine and dandy so far, but I have to be critical when it's deserved. While Bitwarden had no security breaches in its entire existence, research conducted by data and intelligence company Flashpoint found that Bitwarden's autofill may get your credentials stolen by malicious iframes, even on trustworthy sites. What may be even more alarming, though, is that according to the report, Bitwarden had known about the potential attack vector for years, but never addressed the root cause. Bitwarden claims to have fixed the issue, but it's up to you to decide whether or not it's worth the risk. The good thing is that autofill is disabled by default. So if you don't trust it, you can just leave it that way. Now, if you're concerned that Bitwarden isn't safe enough or that an autofill feature is a must-have for you, I've got some truly best password manager recommendations. You can find them in the description. Alternatively, you can scan this QR code to check out NordPass, which has a free plan that includes a fully functioning autofill. Moving on in our tutorial, let's learn how to use Bitwarden. The first option to use Bitwarden is their web app. Simply go to vault.bitwarden.com and register. It only requires your email, your name, and creating a master password, and you're in. To be honest, the web app looks kinda outdated. It has a few menus with lots of dropdown options. Next, let's see whether the desktop app is any better. The download and installation are pretty straightforward, so I'm not gonna go into detail here. Upon launching the app, you'll notice that the interface is simplistic. The sidebar houses your folders containing saved data. Now, the drop-down menus in Bitwarden's app can also be somewhat confusing, and it's not always clear where to find specific features. Your experience will also depend on the device you're using. The desktop apps are quite similar in both appearance and functionality, but the mobile apps have some differences. There is also a browser extension available on all the most popular browsers. That said, if you are a complete beginner, I recommend going with their desktop or mobile app. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, the best way to thank us is by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Now that we've got the app going, let's see how to use Bitwarden features. You can find Bitwarden's password generator right here under this drop-down menu. It's fairly standard, but it does have the unique ability to generate usernames. Another unique thing about it is that it can generate passwords up to 128 characters. While that might sound nice, for most websites, 128 characters is just plain overkill. Besides saving your passwords, Bitwarden also allows you to save secure notes. To do that, just press right here and select your wanted type of note. Let's save a Wi-Fi password this time. Now, password sharing, which is only available with the Bitwarden Premium Plan, needs some improvements. It can be quite difficult to understand how to create new collections. Fortunately, Bitwarden offers another feature called Bitwarden Send, which allows you to share sensitive information. The data sent is end-to-end -end encrypted, and Bitwarden cannot see the contents. Besides, it's super easy to find. It's right here on the left side menu. Once you click on it, you can share a file or text via send link, 
and the recipient does not need to have Bitwarden installed. The only downside is that the encrypted data limit is just one gigabyte. But if you need more storage, you can buy an additional gigabyte a year for $4. If you opt for a premium plan, you'll also gain access to the data breach report feature, which is located in the web vault. Let's test out a few emails. Yeah, as you can see, one of them has appeared in a leak, while the other one is completely safe. What happens if you lose your master password? Bitwarden has an emergency access feature to help you with that. You can find that under the settings tab. There, you can assign an access level to your emergency contact. They will need to have Bitwarden installed, but a premium version is not required. Next, I'll show you how to use pass keys, which can replace passwords as your login credentials. As long as you have saved login information on a website that supports pass keys, it's fairly easy. Let's say I wanna do that on the Shopify website. Click on Manage Account and select Security. There, select Create Pass Key. Now you'll be asked to confirm your password and then it will create a pass key for Shopify. Next time you go to their website, instead of entering your credentials for login, click on this icon on the right, select the passkey we just saved, and click confirm. That's it for features, as I'm not going to cover Bitwarden Autofill, simply because you might want to avoid using it for the security reasons I've already mentioned. Overall, there isn't that much to it when it comes to Bitwarden features, but to be honest, they make it trickier to use than it should be. So I can't really recommend Bitwarden for beginners. If you need a free password manager, Bitwarden is still a fine choice. And if you want premium, it's not overly expensive. That said, considering the downsides of Bitwarden, there are better options with better UI, more features, and no safety concerns. You can find my best Bitwarden alternatives in the description. That would be all in this Bitwarden tutorial for beginners, but just before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our content. Thanks for watching and see you soon.